What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Attila and Zay video. Today we are coming at you from the stunning old town of Dubrovnik and today we're going to be walking around showing you guys the town a little bit and we're also going to be trying a whole bunch of delicious and interesting Croatian foods. So I hope you'll join us and let's go. When we entered the walls of Dubrovnik, this is where you enter is the main area right here, the first thing you see. And we saw people trying to climb on this thing and trying to stand on it. And if you follow me, you can actually see the wall is like dirty over here. It's just like people have been trying to stand on it. And I'm not sure what it's all about. I mean, we didn't really do a whole bunch of research about Dubrovnik because we are trying to make this a food video. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get on it to see if I can do it. Wow, you actually did it! <laughs> so many people struggle trying to get on there. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's about. We're gonna have to research and find out, and we'll, maybe we'll let you guys know. But there you go. I did it as well. It is currently early morning, and you can see that this place is already packed with tourists. And yesterday, we actually came here uh, during the afternoon, and there was two cruise ships in the port of Dubrovnik and this place was absolutely slammed. So it's not as busy today, but it is still busy as you guys can tell. There's a lot of people around, but it is morning like I had mentioned and we are gonna be going for breakfast and we're actually looking for a bakery because we're gonna be trying something that is pretty traditional and popular here in, here in Croatia. It is called a burek and we'll show you guys what that is once we find the bakery. We have just made it to the bakery that we're going to be having our burak at and it has a very interesting name as you can see on the lamp and on the glass over there. It is called Holy Burak which is very funny. It's uh, supposed to be a really good restaurant. We looked at a lot of reviews on Google and this is one of the best ones we could find in the old town. But we're going to give it a try right now and see how it actually is. This right here is the burek that we got and there are a bunch of different combinations of different stuffings that you can get. It's basically a light flaky pastry dough stuffed with either meat, cheese or a combination of both or spinach and cheese, whatever you like. They have a bunch of different options. Today we just got veal, cheese and chicken. And one thing we want to note is that we are in a really touristy area and we paid almost double what we would pay in town like at a local bakery shop. These were about, uh, the veal was the most expensive one, it was 45 kuna and the cheese was the least expensive one, 30 kuna and that's a little pricey but we're in a touristy area so it's okay. Let's give these a try and see how they are. I'm gonna give the veal one a try and see how it is because I love veal and it smells really good. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. The best? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is really good. The top is so crunchy and flaky. The inside is like squishy. It's really good. The meat is flavorful. The only thing I would note is there's not a lot of meat in here. We've tried other burek and it's usually like stuffed with a lot more meat, but delicious regardless. I got the cheese burek over here because if you guys have been on this channel and watched any of our food videos before, you know that Zay is not a fan of cheese. She does not like or eat cheese. So I will be the one trying and eating all of this one. And another thing before I do try it that I want to note is that the burek usually does come in different sh uh, shapes and sizes. Basically, the most common one that I've seen is like a round. So it goes around kind of like a, like a snail kind of and you can like unwind it and eat it like a fruit roll up almost so i'm doing a great job at describing it as you can tell but this cheese one right here i can already tell is very interesting like you can see it's very cheesy and it's crunchy you can hear the crunch <laughs> you can hear the crunch right there of the puff pastry and it smells really really delicious and i know it's going to be awesome Do 
just like Zay said, these budaks were a little bit more expensive than the ones we have gotten in the past at local bakeries, but this is super delicious. I gotta say it is one of the best cheese ones I have tried, but if you're coming to Croatia, we would a thousand percent recommend trying budak because it's super delicious. It's like a really good breakfast to have or just a snack at any time of day. And this is just amazing. So 100% recommend you guys try this. Next up, we're gonna try the chicken one. It smells really good, it looks really good. And a side note, these things are really filling. Like if you just get one, you should be good. We're like struggling to finish them, but we're gonna give this a try. It's really good. It doesn't have a really strong chicken flavor though for some reason, but like if you look inside, there's really not a lot of like meat in it. That's probably why. But I think what I'm tasting more is like the delicious pastry dough. <laughs> Either way, it's still really good. Now that we have had our very delicious budaks, and let me just tell you guys, we are both so full because they're really filling and they actually are just like super long and <laughs> yeah, let delicious. me just say we're full for breakfast. So right now we're gonna go ahead and look for a coffee shop to enjoy a coffee because we both love coffee and we're just check this out we already got one right here <laughs> there are tons of coffee shops looking down every street you see the little tables being set up and there's a lot of very nice restaurants but yeah you can see just how beautiful and charming this little town is right here the old town of Dubrovnik and you can see that the people are coming in here you can see large groups of people taking tours uh, but yeah as we were walking around looking for the perfect coffee shop, we stumbled upon this little square over here and you can see that there's a market over here. And one thing I gotta say is that when you're walking around the old town of Dubrovnik, every single corner you turn, there's gonna be something. It is so charming. There's gonna be beautiful alleys and a surprise around every single corner. Fun fact, neither Attila or I ever watched a single episode of Game of Thrones, but every online article we read and every video we've watched about Dubrovnik mentions that a scene in the show was filmed on these stairs right here. One of the characters is walking down the stairs and everybody around her is screaming shame and you can actually hear people right now like walking down these stairs yelling like shame, shame, shame and we started laughing. Another fun fact about Dubrovnik is star scenes from Star Wars and Robin Hood were actually filmed in this town as well. So it's a really popular filming location and we can see why it is absolutely gorgeous. It has this beautiful like medieval like vibe to it. It's really cool. We stopped at this cafe in the plaza right near the farmer's market. I got a cappuccino, I still got an Americano. We're gonna enjoy these coffees and we will see you guys back at lunch. Just like that, we are back for lunch slash dinner. We're gonna be looking for a restaurant to try. And as you can tell, or you might not be able to tell, but we are no longer in the old town. We decided to come out into the city of Dubrovnik because the old town prices are a little bit too high. Everything is like one and a half or two times the price of outside the city. So, and there's a lot of great restaurants as well in the city. So we're in the city right now. and We're gonna be trying to find a restaurant to eat at and show you guys some more delicious food. Since Croatia has a massive coastline lined by the Adriatic Sea, Mediterranean flavors are gonna be really popular. They eat a lot of fish and they also have a lot of barbecue and meats, different types of meats, something that we'll be showing you guys a little bit later. But right now we're still walking around trying to find a restaurant and we have not had luck yet because look, we're looking for two specific things to show you and we haven't found a restaurant that has both of those things yet, but I'm sure we'll get one real soon. As you guys are able to tell, we are right by the sea at this point. We're walking and looking for restaurants right here. And you can see the beautiful sea over here with a whole bunch of boats all over. Big yachts, small boats and everything in between. And it's just a beautiful place to walk around and have lunch or dinner. 
For some reason, it's been really difficult to find a restaurant that has both things that we're looking for, but we finally found one. We're gonna have a seat. It's called M Fora, and we're hoping it's really good. So we just ordered our food, and while we're waiting, we also got a couple of beers. And as you can see, the beer we got is called Ojusco, and we got the draft. It's always the best and there are two beers here in Croatia that are native Croatian that are the most popular and this is one of them and the other one is called Karlovaško and I can really recommend them I drink a lot of beer and I love this one it tastes really good so cheers to you guys while we wait for the food so we just got our meals and look how beautiful the presentation is right here what I got here is a popular meal around here and it is called the black risotto and check out how incredible it looks what gives the rice the black color is actually squid ink which is super interesting and it also adds a little bit to the flavor you can see it has some mussels around it there's also some cuttlefish mix around with it and as always my mouth is already watering i cannot wait to try this dish it looks incredible i'm really excited and it is a seafood dish so let's give it a try mm. Mm -hmm. This dish is prepared perfectly. It is so flavorful, so, so delicious. It's very, very juicy and everything just blends together so nicely. The seafood with the risotto, it is so delicious. I highly recommend if you guys love seafood, try this dish when you are coming to Dubrovnik and or Croatia. I'm also gonna give the risotto a try and see how it is. It smells like rice. It's very good, does not have a super strong seafood flavor. I don't really taste the ink that much either. It blends well together very nicely. I like it, it's good. I got the chivapchi right here. Chivapchi is a meat. It's usually blended with two different types of meat, either beef and pork or beef by itself or pork by itself. I think mine is a blend of the two. It smells really good and it usually has a ton of different spices mixed with it. You can get this all over Croatia. It's a very, very popular dish that is served around here. And I got mine with fries. It is custom for it to be served with red onions and a pepper sauce called Ivar. I didn't get the pepper sauce this time, which isn't a big deal. I did get a tomato and I love tomatoes, but let's give this a try and see how it is. Mmm. It's so juicy. I definitely think it is a, a blended with different meats. It doesn't taste specifically like beef or pork alone, but it's very flavorful, very juicy, crispy on the outside, delicious. I recommend you guys get this if you're in Croatia because you will not regret it. You can actually get Chivapchi or Kevapi or Chivapchichi because it has a lot of names all over Europe and it's usually prepared slightly differently anywhere you go with different spices and different mixtures of meat, but we actually love eating this even back home in Canada. We always make it when we barbecue and it is extremely delicious. So for sure we recommend it and it actually goes super well with beer. And yeah, Zay's gonna have an amazing meal and so will I. So I'm halfway through my meal and I was just thinking about what Zay said about my meal. The fact that she didn't taste the squid ink, but I gotta say that I do taste it. It's pretty prominent for me. If I was eating just the risotto by itself without no squid ink, I think I would, you know, it would be a significantly different taste. It does add a little bit of flavor, a little bit salty, and there's a little flavor that I can't even describe, but overall it's extremely a delicious dish. I would also like to mention that I'm loving the way that they're serving everything. Like my food got served on a slate plate and with the onion and the kebabchi and the french fries i've been eating it and everything mixed together is so delicious one thing you definitely do not want to be doing is going on a first date and ordering the black risotto because it will make your teeth and your tongue real black so that's something to keep in mind but otherwise the meal like i have been saying is really delicious and i would recommend it 100 percent we just finished our meals and i gotta say we would highly recommend that restaurant it was really good service and the food was incredible really high quality and not too expensive definitely not as expensive as old time would have been so we could definitely recommend it to you guys
No video is complete without dessert, so we made our way back into the old town city walls to find a bakery with authentic Croatian desserts. It is currently about 5.40 in the afternoon and you can see that the old town is so much more packed than it was this morning when we were here for breakfast. It is pretty intense. There's a lot more people all over and that is usually because there's usually cruises that stop by during the day that let everybody out and they leave in the afternoon. So your best bet if you want to come here when it's not as busy is to come super early in the morning or after 8 p.m. at night because that's usually when all the cruises are leaving. Uh, in the afternoon so that is your best bet there or if you don't mind the crowds then you can definitely come at any time because it's going to be beautiful 24 7. This morning they mentioned that there was a couple of movie scenes that were shot here from Game of Thrones and that is definitely a very big attraction here in Dubrovnik Old Town because you can see the Game of Thrones shop right here and let me just tell you guys there are tons of these shops all over the city and that is a major attraction that people come to see those stairs that we showed you this morning but neither Zay or I have watched that show like we have said before so we'll definitely have to check it out and watch it for ourselves and be on the lookout for that scene. Talking about desserts, there are a ton of these shops right here. They're called candy shops and there's a lot of them in every single old town in Croatia and there's multiple in the walls of Old Town Dubrovnik and there are a lot of very delicious candies over here. We actually got some this morning with Zay and they were super delicious but they are quite pricey so just keep that in mind but it doesn't hurt to try them once and yeah we did just that this morning with Zay and it was so so delicious. So we walked into the bakery and we asked the lady working there what's the most Croatian dessert that you have and she pointed at this it's a version of an apple pie oh my god it looks really good it smells really good and it's kind of like crumbly there's layers of apples in here and i don't know if it's because it's later in the day that we're shooting this video but it was really hard to find a dessert but we're lucky that we found one we're gonna give it a try and see how it is there were of course plenty of gelato shops all over but that's not what we wanted to get and yeah we decided to get this this is really good it's a very delicious apple pie that melts in your mouth and it's so crumbly on top amazing that's it for today's video we hope you guys enjoyed everything we had to show you and all the yummy food that we tried if you had a favorite food please comment down below please like the video it really helps us out and subscribe we'll see you guys in the next one